Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE in high velocity clear coat. This 2023 Jeep Wrangler has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine and it's paired up with the hybrid system and gives you a max torque rating of 470. Uh, like I said, um, high velocity is the color on this one. It's a new color for, I believe, 2022. Uh, one of my favorite yellows that I've seen on the Wranglers. And uh, paint code is PJF if you were curious. This one gets 49 miles per gallon equivalent with the hybrid system. It can go up to 22 miles on just the electric mode and it can go up to, and it has a 20 mile per gallon rating with just the gasoline engine. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the options. We're gonna check out the original window sticker as well, and just go over some of the things that make a hybrid a hybrid um, on the Wrangler. First off, you can always tell which ones are the hybrids by the hydro blue tow hooks. You also have all the lettering that's hydro blue, and you can always tell which ones are Saharas because they'll always, almost always have the silver outline around the fog light bezels and in the front grill and headlight bezels. So a couple little things to note there. This one does have the LED lighting group. You get LED headlamps, running lights, lights in the fenders and the LED fog lamps. And what we're gonna do at the end of this video, so stick around for it, I'm gonna turn on all the lights and we're gonna turn off all the lights in the, stu in the studio. We're gonna turn the lights on, the Wrangler lights off in the studio so you can see just how nice and bright those are. This one comes with the 20 inch painted black alloy rims. You also get the hydro blue Jeep on the side there. Bridgestone Dueler tires are the choice of tire on this one and they are 275, 55R20s, a highway tread pattern to them. The other thing with the um, four by E, you get the blue Wrangler. You also get the blue outline on the Jeep lettering there as well. Note that it doesn't say unlimited for the four doors anymore. It just says Wrangler. I think they must've ran out of the unlimited stickers. You get the sandals on the shroud, the Jeep climbing up the side. You also get the T50 on the doors, letting you know which Torx wrench to take those doors off. We actually did a video on how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler very popular video that's in the upper right hand part of the screen if you want to check that out. The other thing to note on this one is the Sahara comes with the color match fenders and this one has the three piece black hardtop. I like the black with the yellow, it kind of breaks up the yellow a little bit and it matches all the window moldings and door handles and mirrors as well. Here's the original window sticker. Please bear with me, I'm not gonna go through everything but most of it. 2023 Wrangler four door. Feel free to pause this as well so you can check out all the op options if I go too fast. High velocity clear coat is the paint color. Black interior comes with the premium McKinley trimmed seats, the two liter dual overhead cam i4 turbo engine, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your Jeep Wave standard features or your, Jeep, your standard features for the Sahara, including the Jeep Wave membership. Um, interior features are standard right there. The Uconnect 4 with nav, um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, 8.4 radio and premium audio group included as well, standard on the Sahara. And then everything on uh, optional equipment is everything that goes over the standard equipment. So high velocity clear coat is 495. The customer preferred package of 29P, which is the Sahara 4xE package, so 29P Sahara 4xE, that's the order code. Cold weather group is 1395, heated front seats, remote start, heated steering wheel, and leather wrapped steering wheel. Anti-spin differential is 695 Anon. The three-piece hard top is 1895, and then uh, that takes the soft top away. It also gives you the rear defrost um, and the storage bag. The side steps are 95 bucks, and the Jeep trail rated kit is 195. Total MSRP on this one is 63410 And if you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen, I got a link to our website with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Wrangler. Um, so 
The warranty coverage is different on a 4xe than a normal one. It has a five year 60,000 powertrain. So that is the engine and transmission. And then you get an eight year 100,000 mile hybrid system limited warranty. So that's on all the charging components and everything like that that goes with the hybrid system. And then another eight year 100,000 mile on the high voltage battery. So the battery and the system uh, that controls the electricity is all under a 100,000 mile eight year warranty. Three year 36 month bumper to bumper. So then you get your powertrain and then the high voltage battery and hybrid system right there. Here are all the miles per gallon and information there. 49 miles per gallon equivalent. Um, that's combined. You're going to have 22 miles of just electric and then 20 miles per gallon on just the gas engine for a total of 370 mile range between the electric and a full tank of fuel. So not too bad. That's what I like about hybrids. If your batteries ever go dead, you can just rely on the gas engine and uh, you're not going to be stuck anywhere. Just talking to a lot of people, that's that's the main thing I hear about, you know, these all electric vehicles. Well, what if I don't have a charger and I don't want to wait X amount of hours to charge it? Um, so I think hybrids are definitely the way to go. Uh, the other thing with this one is it takes roughly 2.4 hours to charge it on a 240 volt and it's about 12 hours on a 120 volt. I don't know if it says it on here. Um, I can't see it. There we go. Charge time a rough around 2.4 hours. Um, they say around two hours. The sticker says 2.4. I'd stick with that. Anyways, we'll get to the interior here in just a second. I like on the uh, painted fenders, they always have the 3M tape. You can't really see it, but there's a little sticker on the front there. It keeps your wheel wells from getting all chipped up. And the other thing that the hybrid has over the uh, gas ones is it has regenerative braking. So if you put it into fuel save mode or hybrid mode, it'll actually uh, use the brakes to charge the batteries uh, by applying more pressure. And then it, it takes that energy and charges up the batteries. It also slows the vehicle down a lot quicker. That's the one thing I've noticed with driving a hybrid um, over the gas ones. You know, the, the brakes take a little bit to get used to. So there is your Alpine uh, subwoofer. This is your um, trail bag. So that comes with that. Unfortunately, it's sealed, so I can't show you what's in there. You get the uh, hard top bag for the front hard top pieces. You also get a bag for your charger. Your charger is right there. So it's got a really nice long cord that you can plug into the wall and then into the vehicle. Then you have your door hinge and roof and windshield bolt holders right there. So notice that the rails or bars are all painted. Uh, so when you have your hard top off, it matches real nice. You also have three bolts on the side, one on the top. So four on each side, total of eight to get your hard top off and then two quick disconnects. We actually did a video on how to take your hard top off your JL Wrangler. Once again, very popular video. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. One little Easter egg to note here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots on that back door. You also get the JL badge right there, which gives you two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording. So you can water ford with a four by E. Those batteries are all um, waterproof sealed. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to give up that feature. You also get the blue tow hook and the E right there is also hydro blue. Get a little bit better look at that rim and tread pattern. And you also get the LED tail lamps. Black fuel door. And uh, this one has the enter and go system. Heated mirrors. And then this is your electric charger. This is where you would plug in your charger right there. What's kind of cool, there's a little Jeep climbing up a mountain. And when that is green, you know that it's reached the top and that it's fully charged. You also have indicators right here for that light. When it's um, blinking green, that means it's charging. When it's fully green, that means 
that it is charged, and when it's red, it means that it's not charging and something's not right. All right, inside, the McKinley leather, really nice leather seats. You get the Sahara stitched in the backrest. These seats are height adjust, lumbar. You also have side airbags on them now, standard. And then the other big thing with the hybrid vehicle is you get these buttons right here. So you can see you got hybrid mode. That's where you get your max power um, for that 470 horsepower and 470 torque is in hybrid mode. You get all electric mode, which is almost nearly zero tailpipe emissions when in electric mode. And then e-save mode pretty much just runs on the gas engine and it'll actually charge your batteries a little bit while driving. So uh, tilt telescopic steering wheel. I actually did a video showing you how to use these. They went on a big long drive, hour long drive. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Power mirrors, power locks. And then uh, the other really hybrid specific thing are the back seats. Specifically this seat, because um, if you know the other Wranglers, when you put these seats down, they all kind of go flat. Well, this one, the seat goes up and then this piece goes down. And you can see that it's not completely flat back here. And that's because this is where the batteries are located. So um, that's the one thing that is, you know, interior difference from the gas one to the uh, 4xe is this back seat and how it operates. You also have a Jeep climbing up the hill right there. Another little Easter egg. So anyways, you get latch child safety systems back here. And these headrests can fold down like so. And they can, uh, you know, stay down whether the seat's up or not. You get child safety locks on the back doors. And uh, I've done a lot of these videos, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the radio and everything, but note that you do get the 7-inch LCD display. You get the um, digital speedometer. This one has um, your battery charge is on the right, and that's the big thing on the hybrid that's different with this instrument cluster. Um, and also when you're driving, it kind of gives you an idea of how well you're conserving that battery. Right now we're at 1%, so we're going to be charging this right after the video. Um, you get the leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. Steering wheels are pretty much standard for a long time. They don't change much on the Wranglers. You get the 8.4 4C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius factory navigation system. This one does have heated seats, heated steering wheel. Love the backup cameras in these. They've made these. HD, so they are crystal clear. Nice um, backup cameras on these vehicles now. You have all your different apps. This one has off-road pages, projection manager. We can project your cell phone to a screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto if you want to check that out on an 8.4. That's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Then the off-road pages, they take a second to load. So while they're loading, note that you get the leather wrap dash, and that is specific to the Saharas as well. You get the Jeep climbing up there. It says, maybe lost but never stuck. Um, so off-road pages give you your steering angle, transfer case. As I turn that steering wheel, the angle changes on there. You get your transfer case, whether you're in too high, four high, four low. Um, you have your latitude, longitude, altitude there, accessory gauges, and your pitch and roll. Obviously, we're inside the building, so I don't get good satellite signals, so I don't get accurate readings there. Um, down here are your more tactile radio and climate controls. And the one thing that's different on here is this mode right here. So when you press that, it goes into regeneration of the battery. So it uses more of the regenerative brakes to charge that battery. Um, so you'll notice that when you press that button, it actually will slow the vehicle down a little bit faster uh, when you're not heavy on the accelerator so um, but you always need to actually press the brake to stop the vehicle this one is a push button start you have your select speed control augs usb usb c four by four shifter this one has the part-time uh, four-wheel drive the eight-speed automatic transmission you get the little jeep on there 
Let's we'll get your keyless entry with the remote start. Flipper key, always love that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. Um, really like the Wranglers, the uh, hard top pieces, they come off just like they always have. Assist and SOS buttons, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn all the lights off in here and we'll check out all of the lights on with the uh, lights off in the picture studio. So give me one second here, we'll start, we'll pause it. All right, so you get a really good idea of the LED lights on here. Um, when you get the full LED light group, they got the LEDs in the fenders as well. And uh, they are very bright. I would highly recommend getting a Wrangler only with the LED light group because the normal halogens just aren't that great. Uh, but you can see how nice and bright they make everything. And then the LED tail lamps look great as well. And you do get the LED license plate lights on there too. And I did want to take one quick look under the hood. There's not a ton of stuff that's different under there, but there are a couple things. Get the lights back on in here. So I already got one side off. Put your openers right there. And then you got the two liter, once again, 470 foot pounds of torque in hybrid mode. Um, and you'll notice the one thing that you can see right there is that orange cord that comes out. Uh, that comes out from the charger and goes down to the hybrid system. So that's really the major difference uh, from you know, a normal hybrid one to this one. There is your emissions sticker. And that's pretty much it. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you got a really good idea of the options and looks and styling and a little bit of information on the hybrid on this particular one. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you liked it. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE in high velocity clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.